Yeah, so <laughs> Josh Taylor got a very controversial decision over Jack Catterall last night. And uh, yeah, I see many people are really outraged because uh, most, I mean, uh, most of them didn't think that, uh, well, it was a split decision, but still, most of them didn't think that Taylor will deserve to get more than four rounds, you know. And he was also down once in the eighth round. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, to be honest, I didn't really get to see the fight yet because it was on Sky Sports, you know. But that it, this was a big surprise to me, you know. In my prediction, I thought that Taylor would surely, you know, win this fight either way, you know, most likely on points, as I said. But I could see maybe like Carol, you know, making some sort of an upset or making a making it tough for Taylor and me. So he did more than that. <laughs> He actually won, you know, the fight according to most. I mean, I haven't seen it, but I believe, uh, like, what I really heard and read and seen some very knowledgeable people, uh, like experts and big boxing fans who are unbiased, they say it really, there is no way that Taylor could have won that fight, so... I mean, I, I I did say, like, in my impression that, you know, it would be very hard for Carol to even get the decision, you know, like, because he would have to win at, at least eight rounds. Well, <laughs> it turns out the, the eight rounds wasn't enough e even, you know, even though he won, he got a point de deducted, that's true, for holding, but, uh, yeah. <sighs> You know, when you have a, a, a guy with such a huge star in his native country, in Scotland, and uh, he is pretty much the only one who really is successful from Scotland in boxing right now. So that's what happens. They do, they go to great lengths to protect their, you know, star, their big son, great son. So, yeah. Even though the judges, you know, they're not really from Scotland, I guess, most of them. Our Foster gave, the only guy who gave the fight to Carol is from Doncaster. Ian John Lewis is from Gillingham in Kent. And Victor Laughlin is from, the only one from Scotland. But he actually gave it to Taylor by a smaller margin, only one point. Then he and John Lewis did. He scored 114-111. And our Foster gave it to Carroll by one point. Yeah, I mean, first of all, I don't know. I guess it was just maybe either a question of tricky style, you know, I mean, Carol's style not being suitable for Taylor, that might well be the case, but also maybe it's the problems making the weight, you know, uh, for Taylor, he's a really outgrowing the 140 division, he's a really big, big 140 guy, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I think he really should move up now, I mean, there's no reason to just keep on fighting there just for the sake of holding on to all the belts, you know. And you already achieved everything there that you possibly can, so it's time to, you know, seek glory at a higher weight, simply. And many people are now down on his chances against Crawford, but I, I don't, I wouldn't be really, my, I mean, I, it's true, I wouldn't really <laughs> favor him in the fight with Crawford right now, but uh, maybe this was just one bad night, you know, for Taylor, and uh, he hasn't had a fight for nine months before this, so maybe that also had something to do with it, but still, 
I mean, Catterall didn't have a fight for over a year, like, like, uh, 15 months, so, you know, but still, you know, he's hardly had so many demanding fights so far as Taylor, yeah, I believe that's the main reason. And this was really Catterall's first uh, world class or world title fight. While uh, for Taylor, it's the let's see one fifth so far in uh, the fifth one in 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 uh, three three years. Yeah. So yeah, that can be also that can take its toll, of course. So whatever the reason is why Taylor didn't look good last night, either you know the style of Carroll is being not you know well suited for him, maybe the weight, you know problems making weight, or just having a bad night, you know. I hope that he gets his act together in the future for his next fights because if not. You know, he, he might well find his career, you know, <laughs> shortened, and uh, he might find himself with a couple of losses on his record at the end of it, at least a couple, yeah. But I think he will probably learn from this, most likely, yeah. And while we are on the subject of boxing uh, of last night, I see that Harry Ancas actually he lost to Fernando Martinez. Um, just trying to see this shit one open. <laughs> oh come on! I just want to see how he lost. There's something wrong going on here some bullshit well anyway uh yeah so that was a rather big upset as well i guess um yeah i mean i guess this was his 10th defense as i said previously of the ibf title so you know when you have fought on that level for a while and even you have been a champion for so long, it starts to get, you know, like, you know, difficult simply. You start to feel the, 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 the burden. So, yeah. Oh, bloody hell, something you don't try with my internet right now. Just, yeah, see, you now he lost by a really wide decision, actually. You man was fall. Whew, that was a, a big surprise, and let's say I don't know if that was a fair decision or not, but this was in Las Vegas, you know, and uh, <laughs> I don't think he said many fights. As I said, you know, uh, he might not be, you know, like uh, three. I mean, you know, not, he might not get the best treatment from the judges you know being an Asia, east asian fighter against uh, south american but still yeah i don't know really what happened i will have to see that fight really uh but he's now you know as i said been a champion for a while so that's what happens sometimes i guess it was a not bad night for him as well well so two of my predictions so far have uh, been uh, proven wrong so now the only one that's left is i think okoli <laughs> losing to chesla but I, I don't think that will happen that was the safest i think of my predictions i didn't feel like that back when i was making but now i see yeah it's the safest one all right so that was a little about that um i'll be back uh, with another prediction video soon all right see you bye bye